Welcome to my three minute photo thoughts. And today I'd like to talk about, oh, I can barely even say it, getting up at the crack of dawn to go photograph. It really seems so painful, but you know what? There are really a lot of benefits and some big upsides. Let's talk about it. All right, so let's talk about the reasons not to go out at the crack of dawn. And let me tell you, I am the master. I am the absolute master of the excuses for reasons not to go out at the crack of dawn. I actually put together, I'm going to give you half a dozen of my favorites. All right. These are my absolute favorites. The first is this time of year, sunrise is so early that by the time I get there, because, you know, usually I do go about an hour away. By the time I get there, I'm not going to make it for sunrise anyway, because, I mean, it's so darn early this time of year. All right. Well, that's actually, that may be one of the best ones that I have. And even that's probably only a three out of five in terms of quality. I mean, you know, of all times of the years to get up for a crack of dawn, probably the summer when sunrise is earliest is probably the toughest of all. So I'm going to keep that one in, in reserve a little bit, but yeah, it's not the greatest, but it may be all I got. Number two, the weather app says it's cloudy or clear or overcast or something. And so the sunrise really isn't going to be so hot. Uh, that's not really good. That's not one, a good, one that you can really use. Two out of five. For one thing, you know, how often are your weather apps right? And the second thing is, even if they are right, you know, it's different every time you go out there. And it's, you know, the, the things that you can get, you can never predict every time that you go out there. So I'm going to say, not a great excuse. Number three is even worse. But I told you I got a ton of them. Number three is I was up too late the night before. Okay, we're going to give that a zero out of five. We're not even going to consider that one because let's face it, that is under our control completely, under my control completely. And yours too. Number four, I've been there for sunrise so many times before. Is it really worth going again? Well, you know, that's, yeah, we'll give that a one out of five. You know, I, I answered my own excuse earlier when I said every, every morning is different and it doesn't have to be a magnificent sunrise. The light every morning is different. The light every morning is beautiful. And to say you've done it at sunrise already, eh, that's not an excuse that's going to cut it. Number five, I'm too old to be getting up <laughs> that early in the morning. Yeah, that's probably a zero out of five. I think I probably said that when I was in my 20s, my 30s, my 40s. Oh, God, I don't even want to keep going. But and they say anyway that, you know, the older you get, supposedly the less sleep you need. So that's an excuse that's not really going to cut it. But my last one, number six, that's probably the best one of all. And this one is so good that I don't know whether to give it a one out of five or a five out of five because it's got so much BS in it that it's really almost believable. And that is that uh, <laughs> I'm not very creative when I'm tired. Well, if you don't go out at good times to be creative. And if you don't go out to photograph, you're never going to have an opportunity to be creative. So uh, I've used that one a lot. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But when you sit here and think about it, when I sit here and think about it, eh, it really doesn't doesn't hold much water. So those are my excuses. And like I said, I am awesome at excuses. But now Let's talk about some of the upsides of getting up at the crack of dawn to go photograph.
Well, now let me give you my top six reasons for going out at the crack of dawn to photograph. Now, I've got to give you a fair warning here. I can sometimes be a little touchy-feely, and this is one of those times because the first four of those reasons are actually not photographic at all. So if you're not of the touchy-feely sort and you want to sort of make your way out into the hallway for the first four, don't worry, I'll give you a call back in for the last two. So number one is that, you know, being out there in nature and being out there when the new day starts and the sun rises, I just can't help but think that it's good for the soul and good for creativity. And I have to say, whenever I've been out there, even if I don't get any shots, or even if the camera never comes out because it's raining or whatever, I never come back feeling poorly. I always come back feeling good. Number two, we're only given a certain amount of time on this earth. And somehow being out there at the crack of dawn, it just makes the days seem fuller and longer. Number three, well, again, being out there in nature when that sun is rising and the day is starting, it just seems to put you more in touch with yourself and the world in general. Number four is somehow either coming home or in the pre-COVID era, going out for breakfast after you've been up shooting for an hour or two. Well, that's, to me anyway, it's just a really good feeling when you're out there going for breakfast and the rest of the world is just waking up and you've been doing things for a couple hours already. Now, everyone in the hallway, you can come back in because my last two reasons are photographic. My fifth reason is that each morning is different. And, you know, not every sunrise is magnificent, but that's real life. I mean, that's the world. And the fact is that it can be a challenge, and a challenge is good. And that's what photography is all about, being challenged and trying to make art out of what you're given. So it can be a wonderful challenge to try to make something and make something different if the conditions aren't what you expected. And finally, the last and sixth reason is that the light is just the best in the morning, really for two reasons. First of all, there's the warmth of the light. Everyone wants that golden hour. And of course, that doesn't always happen, depending on the cloud cover and so on. But it's more than just the warmth of the light. It's that low angle of the sun in the, of the, sun in the sky, which gives you know beautiful texture and depth to everything when it's hit from the side. So, you know, you can't beat morning or evening light. So those are my six reasons. Well, I think I went over my three minute mark. Oh, well, that happens. My apologies. Uh, at any rate, I do want to ask you at this point, do you go out and photograph at the crack of dawn? And is that something you'd like to do more often than you currently are? Now, I am the master of excuses, I already told you that, for staying in bed and, and rolling over and going back to sleep. Do you have as many excuses as I do? And do you agree with my benefits for getting out and photographing at sunrise? And if you do get out and photograph at sunrise, do you have any more ideas about the positives and the benefits to it that I might have missed? If you're so inclined you can drop a comment down in the comment section below the video and we can discuss it. I'm Howard and this channel is about introducing viewers to creative and inspirational photographers, to discussing all sorts of photographic topics, and to enhancing creativity with Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. And if those topics sound interesting to you, I'd really appreciate your support of the channel by having you click that subscribe button below. We'll see you next time.